Hey everyone, it's Ometer, and today I have a couple of projects that I made for a hop, and this hop is um, hosted by the Magnificent D, and she is from Elegant Embellishments. Um, so it was, it's her shop, and also two other shops, and it is, um, it is Crafts uh, for You and Crafty City. So let me, and let me just give you guys a few little information, a, few, a little bit of information. There are several other participants in Magnificent Crafters in this hop. There's Virginia1468, Christina95901, myself, um, D from Elegant, Elegant Embellishments, and also the incomparable Marilyn. She is Marilyn G here on YouTube. So, and of course, all of the links will be in the description, along with the information for, um, for the hop. Uh, so make sure you uh, visit everybody's channel and if you're looking for some of these awesome products they are available in the molds um, the molds are from D shop which is elegant embellishments and right now she has 15 to, um, she has a sale and if you use one of our coupon codes every um, she has a shop for 15 percent off so if you use one of the coupon codes for um, for the hop, which is Elegant, Amador, Christina, Marilyn, or Virginia. Of course, use mine, because I'm awesome. Um, and it's just Amador, A-M-A-D-O-R. You get an additional 5% off. So it'll it'll be at 20% off. Um, and customer spending $15 or more. Um, let me see here. Okay. Everything is 15% off. That's what it is. And customer spending $15 or more can uh, take an additional 5% off by using the coupon code Amador, A-M-A-D-O-R. I'm trying to read this as I talk because I'm jibber jabbering. Also, um, from Crafty City, uh, you can get free shipping in the USA with code F R E E twenty five. And for craft supplies for you, take additional twenty five percent off of using coupon code Hop twenty five. That's H O P two five. So that is super awesome. So um, let me show you. I showed you guys a um, a video with a DT package and these were some of the molds that I got from D's Elegant Embellishments. Um, I originally thought of using all of them and I made the molds and my mind just totally just went blank on other things and stuff but I will show you how they came out. Now, um, I'm reaching over right now. I used, let me see, I used um, some air dry clay from my stash. Let me go grab it. I use this um, Hardy Super Light uh, molding clay. It's air dry, super light, super awesome. And typically these these molds are for acrylic and clay, but they popped out. Look how look how easy that thing bends over, bends out, and it popped out. And I was able to get like look how intricate this is. I was able to get the horse out. These are the little piggies, the little feet, little baby feet. And, and this is just so super light. I wanted to show you guys the other ones that I got. Super light, super smooth. I didn't need to put any... I've seen people put baby oil, baby powder, all that stuff. None of that. I didn't have to put any of that. Now, I didn't make any out of this one. But this one I did. I made several. And look at how intricate it is. Super intricate. Came out so easily from this one. And where's the other one? Oh, okay. Also, what I did is... In case I wanted to do something different, this one has a cameo with roses. I just put a thin layer of clay over it, and look at that. It's completely smooth and plain now. So those are some of the um, molds, um, some of the pieces that I made, and it's so super light, super, super light. I love that. I have tons of that in my stash. Okay, so and there's a little pony. All right. So I also, and I used some of these flowers, and these are from Crafty City, or um, from her Facebook group, Secret Garden, um, to our channel's group. I'm totally losing my mind. Um, I got some of these flowers, so I used some of these um, these there. What else did I get? And also for craft supplies to you, I got this trim and this trim. So, okay. So, let me show you my first project. My first project, I used one of these, which I had in my stash. Some of these little canvases. I flipped it inside out and what I did was I adhere the lace around it and coming into the inside so I basically covered the lace with I mean covered the lace covered the frame with this lace and it's very dimensional I wanted to do a little something mixed media and I wanted to do a little something 
girly and whatnot. I'm sorry for the shakiness. I'm moving the camera up. So, and this is an 8x10 canvas. And then, oh, and I also got this little frame also from Craft Supplies to you. And I mean, this hanger. And I just bent it a little bit to make it slimmer and a little bit more feminine. But look, I went ahead and, and then I gessoed the entire thing all the way around. Now, I didn't gesso it completely because I liked how with the, um, with the gesso and the black lace, it gave it kind of a grayish hue. And I absolutely liked the way it looked because I was going to spray it. Let me show you. And I was going to spray it and splash it with some, just some pink sprays that I had. Oop. And it actually, oh, and this actually comes off. So you can actually put something else. And here in the back, it has a little uh, ribbon loop for, for it to be hung. But yes, I went around the whole thing, adhered it around the back, and then adhered it through the bottom here, and then brought this out to kind of make this a more even dimensional frame. Here is where I used the flowers from Crafted City. Now the flowers were a little bright. Um, so I use the same gesso. I once again I didn't want to completely cover them, but I wanted to give them a lighter hue, a softer, more um, more of a soft um, a color to it. And I also took some of the um, some of the roses and I cut off the back parts to make little buds. And look here's some little buds that I also created just from the regular roses. So that's super easy. So this hanger came flat here, and I just bent it a little bit and looped it around. One of these little embellishments of the lace. Super, super love it. And it goes around the whole thing. Around the whole thing. So, um, I made it so this would come off. So here is where I use the black lace again to make the corset part of the, um, the bust part of the, of this little dress. And under here, under here, look, I'll show her the, show you the chonies. Under here is just a chipboard piece, which I wanted it just to keep the shape. And there's actually in here too which is holding the little um, the little straps in here. And here's the white lace. Now, yes, I did just use it the way it is. I did a running stitch, and then I um, adhered it to the chipboard because I just like the way it flowed. So this can actually be taken out and used on a scrapbook page or anything like that. And you can pretty much hang anything from here. But I made it so um, you can actually hang it like that. And here it is hanging. And see, and hold on, I want to have it up. And it has dimension. This is the dimension from the side. So it looks like a 3D piece of art. And like I said, if you want to use the dress on something, you can, and then just leave something else here or hang a picture from here. And with these flowers, I use some of the leaves right here. And I like how it just came off. Originally, my idea was to have the lace sticking out, but I just didn't really like the way it looked. But I wanted to put, I wanted to spray and splash some paint, some pink paint here in the back. So it would, uh, and it shows so much better, um, the little dress that I made. So yeah, so that's my first project. Um, along with all those little uh, mold things that I'm going to use on scrapbooks and stuff like that. So this is my favorite project. Let me just move this off to the side. This one is, the moment I saw these is my labor of love. I made medals. Now these are for you, for them to go. These will probably go as gifts. I plan to make several more because I do have more of these to make several um, to hand out as gifts to people. These can go on someone's scrapbooks. It can go in a card and they actually hang. This is just some old ribbon I've had forever. This from this spool. This is from my stash. Um, it's a Martha Stewart ribbon. And I just love the way it had those stripes like a vintage metal. I just got some large jump rings, um, some small ones, and there's an eye pin that I inserted in this little clay part, and I just adhered it. Oop. And all I did was um, glue the corners in to make that little, um, the little point. And right here, I just used some paint from my stash. I used um, black paint, brown paint, and a teal aqua uh, paint to give it more of that vintage patina. But look, you can see. Oh, love it. So here's a little bit close up and this is the one here we go one is upside down and one is right side up but you really can't tell because they're absolutely flipping gorgeous absolutely absolutely gorgeous. So these are going to probably go for to some crafty friends that I admire they could put in their scrapbooks or um, in cards and stuff 
And on this one is one that I have the little flat piece on it. I'm going to probably do a cameo or anything. You can pretty much do add any kind of image. Um, in here, if you have other molds, you can also put that there. Or um, you can also do initials and initial and stuff like that. So, yeah. But those are my little projects. I absolutely love them. Oh, my goodness. Like, I love these metals. Like, they just came out perfectly. Um, and I like the fact that, ironically, <laughs> it turned out that the colors of the ribbon kind of go with the colors of the metal. So, so, there it is. So, you guys, please make sure that you are... Um, subscribing to all of the participants channels commenting on their projects I know that they are having giveaways um, I think Dee's having a giveaway as well make sure you uh, you shop at the shops they are awesome shops um, and get some of these amazing molds I have tons of these um, I have to use my other ones as well now that I know that I can use my air dry clay and they come out super super easy I'm so so gonna be about it um, so yeah, so um, I'm going to do a little giveaway. I'm going to give away this frame, this um, this dress frame. I have to stamp it still. <laughs> if you'd like me to autograph it for you, of course I will. <laughs> I'm such a nerd. Um, so just go ahead and leave a comment in the description, you guys. Uh, just, I don't know, any random comment. And uh, let me know what you guys think about the projects. Like I said, this is super, super easy. Um, if you want me to do a little tutorial, I'll be more than glad because I do have more of these. So leave a message um, if you'd like to see a tutorial and leave a message if you'd like to be entered um, for the dress. Just, you know, enter me for the dress, I guess. Uh, <laughs> um, and I will do the raffle within a week and um, I'll do the raffle probably in the next uh, couple of days in all actuality. So. And oh, also the sale at Elegant Investments, that one is going until tomorrow. So go ahead and go in there, you guys. Get some of these. You guys need them. Um, so thanks for stopping by, you guys. Check out everybody's channel, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye, everyone.